the phenomenon of backmasking. You will greatly understand something supernatural if you are patient and watch this entire video with your full attention and intention of not having any opinions until you view and consider all of this information. Why is understanding backmasking so critical? What is really such a big deal? Because when one comes to understand what is really going on in backmasking, it immediately beckons the question, how did it get there? Watching this presentation in such a way as to learn first, then judge second, will reveal to you the answer to this enormous question, and you too will understand its most important and profound implications. It is essential that you first know there are two types of backmasking. The first type of backmasking is called intentional backmasking. This is where an artist purposefully flips the direction of music listening and records something into the song. Then when the listener hears the song forwards, he hears backwards gibberish where the artist has used this recording technique. A good example of intentional backmasking is the song Darling Nikki by Prince from the album Purple Rain. Here is the song played in its regular forward listening mode. Listening to the song, one can pick up intuitively that there is backwards singing and or talking mixed into the music. Now here is the song played backwards. Hello, how are you? As you can hear, the artist purposefully mixed in the message as a studio gimmick. Many artists have used this technique in their music over the years, and occasionally, this technique has been used during guitar solos, where the artist wished to add this effect to embellish their song, such as the song Are You Experienced by Jimi Hendrix. Nevertheless, this type of intentional backmasking is not of interest to our presentation here. We will now focus the remainder of our time examining the second type of backmasking. This type of backmasking is called unintentional backmasking. You will see that there is no way this type of backmasking could be manufactured or produced by tricks in the recording studio. 